Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Sharon Walters. Uh, Sharon Walters is an artist whose work celebrates black women and I didn't think it would be appropriate to use myself as the subject of this piece so instead I have um, chosen a photograph of my wife who is mixed race in order to celebrate her heritage. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is select the polygonal select tool and begin masking off areas that I want to be transparent for now. And every time I've masked off an area, I'll press delete. Okay. Obviously, I would expect that you will take a little bit more time and care but for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm moving fairly swiftly. Um, I've also looked at Sharon Walters' work ahead of this tutorial to kind of give myself a sense of which areas I'm going to cut out. I would definitely advise you to have some of her work in front of you while you do this step to kind of get an idea as to where you might want to remove areas. Okay. Okay. Rather than have you watch me cut away all these sections, which is going to be rather long and boring, I'm going to cut away now and join you again when I've finished. Okay. Welcome back. I have now cut out all the areas that I want to cut out and I'm making a new layer. And I'm going to fill that layer with white with the paint bucket. Fill that and then I'll move that layer down underneath and you can see how much bolder it looks. Um, I've got two images I'm going to use for the rest of my piece. One is of Ipswich that I've turned black and white and the other is of some Caribbean flowers. Okay, both of these images celebrate my wife's mixed heritage. So I'm going to start with the picture of Ipswich and it's too um, bold at the moment. So I'm going to go image adjustments, hue saturation, and I'm going to turn the lightness right up so that it is just a very pale version of itself. With the Caribbean flowers, I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white, and I'm going to go image adjustments, color balance, and I'm going to up the red and bring down the green to make them pink again. And then I'm going to use image adjustments, hue saturation to bring up the saturation, but also bring up the lightness because I want these to be one simple color as well. So once I'm happy with those, click OK. Right, both my images are ready to be used in my project. So I'm gonna start with the Caribbean flowers, get the polygonal lasso tool and lasso out a irregular triangle. And I'm going to control C to copy that and control V to paste it into my project. I'm going to resize it. And essentially, inspired by Sharon Walter's work, I'm just going to place these triangles. So pink flowered ones, but also triangles of Ipswich landscape. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And as I was saying, I'm going to use both of these triangles to, to create an interesting background for my cutout. And now I have both triangles in the picture, I can right click and duplicate layer on the pink one to make another pink triangle. And I think this is very much about you exploring and playing and seeing what angles work best, where the triangles fit. Every image is going to be different. And of course, layering, um, doing the same with the gray triangle, duplicate layer and playing to see where it could go. I think that's good. 
and again layering I think that's going to go below the pink okay duplicate the pink again maybe move one down here okay and again thinking about layers this one's going to go under the grey just shimmy that to bring it up a bit there we go okay and then I'm going to duplicate the pink layer again and I think I'm going to balance that pink in the bottom left with a bit of pink up in the top right mm, no that's too far up I think I'm gonna yeah it's okay bring it down a bit I think yeah that's better okay good okay and I think it's a bit more yeah it's good okay and I think that is my piece done and dusted um, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it helpful.